and they're dropping quite quite steeply downhill now. There's the first right-hand bit of the gooseneck. You see the rider swing left into the left-handed bit. Then he keeps going left into Mansfield corner. This is Mansfield. You see how downhill they're going. Now, through the new chicane, Mansfield chicane, up from first gear they'll probably be in here, first or second. They go through that at about 30 miles an hour, up through the box, second, third, fourth, and fifth momentarily, before they go down into second gear for the left-hander at the mountain. Then there's the right-hander, which immediately follows, tremendously spectacular. Front wheel right off the ground, you see, and uh, these are not true racing speeds that they're doing now. From the mountain into Hall Bends, that you can see them there, the right and left, then into the hairpin, which is a first gear downhill right-hander, which leads into the notorious barn corner. I say notorious, that's the hairpin you see there. Now barn corner, I say notorious because it's actually got an adverse camber. They take it at about 70 miles an hour in third gear, and the bike can very easily slide away from you. And over to the left, there is a very large pond. As far as I know, it's one of the pageants as the only rider who's ever been into it. But uh, here we are, front rank of the grid. Brian Morrison, look for number one. There he is, coming up into position. That is the man of the year so far. The man who uh, was the lead Formula 2 machine in the Junior TT. He finished first there. First in the production 600 TT, second in the 750 production TT. He is leading the Super Stock Championship. He's leading the uh, Senior Stock Championship. And he's leading this Formula 1 Championship. And he won the first heat. Now, how does he get away? Not so well, because it's Carl Fogarty, number three, into the lead. Carl Fogarty, now they are into coppice. All these machines will be producing something like 130 brake horsepower, capable of 180 miles an hour on, under the right conditions, but they'll be building up to about 130 miles an hour as they come into Park Street, dropping downhill, then climbing now from Park Street up into Park Corner. Fogarty leading, number three. Number one, Brian Morrison in second place. Then the rest, heel right over. There is uh, Andy McGlattery on the door, number 21. Round Chris Curve, out of it, and it is Brian Morrison here up into the lead. Mark Phillips is in third or fourth position. I saw him as he just went through. So there is Brian Morrison. And there, number four, is Mark Phillips. Darren Dixon, number 15, behind him, is the man who won the round of the Formula One Championship at Carnaby, which you may have seen a couple of weeks ago. Now they are through and up towards the mountain. Look for the front wheels off the ground. There they go, flying through the air. One lap completed at the end of this one as they come into Hall Bend. Fogarty well up, down to Barn Corner. That one. Fogarty leading. Morrison in second place, out of Barn Corner. They burst into view. Over the start and finish line. Fogarty leading, Morrison second. Jamie Whittam on the Suzuki is in third position at the end of the first lap. I've got to stop watch running and we'll see how the lap time compares with the new lap record. One minute, 36 seconds, 81.5 miles an hour as the riders get right off the machines on the right-hander. And Brian Morrison has certainly not got things all his own way at the present moment because it's Carl Fogarty leading. And Carl was riding in Assen in uh, Holland on Thursday. He raced at Aberdare in Wales yesterday. And he's here today. And he was very, very tired when I was talking to him this morning. It didn't stop him breaking the lap record with Morrison in the first heat. And he's going great guns. And off onto the grass goes Jamie Whittam. And that's Darren Dixon fighting with him for third position. So, Jamie Whittam on the Suzuki, the Suzuki 750, number 69. Darren Dixon on the 500cc RG Suzuki Grand Prix bike. And they're coming up now, over the mountain. Timing and line are absolutely critical. There goes Morrison, there is Whittam, there is Darren Dixon, and behind 
behind Darren Dixon, it is Phillips. And Terry Reimer is well up. Now, coming through to complete the lap. And according to my unofficial hand timing, that is another lap record. One minute, 35.88. Darren Dixon is up into third place. You'll see the red, the yellow leathers of Darren Dixon on the 500cc Grand Prix Suzuki, the championship leader. There he is in the third position, and he has got ahead of Jamie Whittam. There he is, there's Dixon. 25 years old from Folkestone, ex-250cc and an ex-sidecar rider. He's still in a lot of pain. He had a nasty crash at Donington last Sunday. And I think the adrenaline has overcome the problem now because it is still Morrison number one in second position. It is still in the lead, Carl Fogarty on the 750cc Honda. There it is, Morrison on a Honda, then Dixon on the Grand Prix Suzuki. That is Whittam on the 750cc Suzuki. This may seem odd, but if you're riding a two-stroke machine, the limit is 500cc. If you're riding a four-stroke machine, the limit is 750cc. And you can see it even things out, evens things out very well indeed. Although probably the four-stroke 750s have got an advantage here because their torque and power flow is so good at a tricky, naturally circuit like this. Over the line then. Fogarty, Morrison, Dixon, Whitton, Mark Phillips is fourth, Steve Spray is in fifth place, and in sixth position is Terry Reimer on the Honda. This is the fourth lap in this 10 lap championship race here at Cadwell. Ideal racing conditions. We thought we were going to have some rain earlier on, but it has held off the fastest lap so far. 1 minute 36.3, that is an official timing. 81.27, that's outside the lap record. As they come over the crest, into the right-hander at Park Corner. Now there's fourth gear, about 80 miles an hour. Chris Kerr building up, 100 miles an hour, up into fifth gear, about 115 miles an hour. Dropping down to the right and the left at the gooseneck, right. Downhill, left, third gear, Mansfield corner, and we're up again with the leaders, and it's Morrison. Morrison, Brian Morrison has taken the lead on that four in this 10-lap race. He has been studying form, no doubt, this quiet, cheerful, extremely likeable Scott from Kakoti, who is the man to beat these days, especially right now, because George Pogarty has gone, sorry, that's his father. Carl Fogarty has gone down to second position. His father, George, was no mean motorcycle racer himself. And it is Darren Dixon in third position. Here they come, over the line. Morrison, Fogarty, Dixon, and Dixon is closing. Darren Dixon on the 500cc Suzuki is trying to ride round. Carl Fogarty giving it all he's got. Now the points in this championship are 15 points for a win, 12 for second, 10 for third, and so on. Down to 1.4, 10th position. So Darren Dixon, number 15, is now in a 12-point situation because he is in second place, riding beautifully. Four-cylinder, two-stroke Suzuki, and Steve Spray is in fifth position. Race order then on lap five, which is the half-distance lap. George Morrison leads, Carl. Uh, up into second place has gone Dixon, down to third position appropriately, number three, Carl Fogarty. Then in fourth position it is Jamie Whitton, you can see the gap as they go through the chicane. Up to the mountain, Morrison. That's Jamie Whittam. There is the gap between first, second, third and fourth as they go into the right and left of all bends. Up to the hairpin. Down into first gear. Keel it over hard right. Let it drift out a bit. Line it up right. Up into third gear. 70 miles an hour. Barn corner. Darren Dixon. There is the gap between that Dixon in the lead and in second position and the gap between 
between Hicks and second, and Morris third is 0.43 seconds, nothing in it. Half the lap, and half the race completed. And this is a magnificent scrap because Brian Morrison from Kirkcaldy looks over his shoulder and he sees the danger man in the championship and Darren Nixon is trying to get through on the inside. Fails to do so, Morrison's got the line, Fogarty takes the opportunity to close up. You can see that that Honda has got a one-sided swinging arm. The rear wheel is supported by a swinging arm on the right side only. As I said earlier on, it is a replica of Joey Dunlop's World Championship winning machine from last year. And in this championship, you have to have sold a thousand at least of these machines in order to qualify to take part in racing. Well, Honda, I'm sure, have done that without any problem. Tremendously popular. And you have to play over the odds to get one. That's how popular they are. There's Jamie Whittle on the 750 Suzuki, who is a protégé of and being trained by the great Dick Grant, who is here today to watch it. There is Jamie Whittle, 21 years old from Huddersfield. Now they are on their sixth lap. First, second, third and fourth, there are the first three, and there is Whittam in fourth place, out of Barn Corner, over the line. And the gap between first and fourth, between Morrison and Whittam, is 2.3 seconds, and there is J.D. Whittam from Huddersfield, the ex-80cc British champion, and Darren Dixon is going for it, lap after lap. He's closing up on race leader Brian Morrison as they exit Charlie's Bend. Drop down Park straight, sixth gear, 130 miles an hour. And here it is, Dixon comes across Morrison and takes the lead. Darren Dixon, who was in fifth position on the first lap, has remorselessly worked his way up through the field and taken the lead on this, the seventh lap out of ten. See the riders, they shift their, their backside over the appropriate side of the machine to get the weight in the right place. You see they've got their behinds right over the left. Now they go over to the right. Flick left, flick right. That's Jamie Whittam out of the new Mansfield chicane, up to the mountain again. And Darren Dixon is exploiting the superb handling of his RG Suzuki. He gets a bit of a wiggle on there as he lands after the mountain into Hall Bend. Morrison is giving up. The gap between Morrison and Dixon, who is tying for second place in the championship with Steve Spray and Ron Haslam, who had one magnificent ride at Donington as a Grand Prix rider, and they don't normally take part in events of this calibre. The gap between Morrison and Dixon in the championship is only one point. Since the gap between first place and second place is three points, it's critical to Darren Dixon, the lead rider that you are looking at now in the yellow leathers, number 15 on the Suzuki, who calmly looks over his shoulder. It's important to him, obviously, to win this event because he will take the championship lead by two points from Brian Morrison if he does so. This is lap eight and Andy McGlannery on the north, his first real ride in racing conditions in a final, he had a ride in the heat, is in eighth position. That is an excellent performance. And we have a new lap record because Brian Morrison has just gone round in 1 minute 34.7 compared with the previous lap record put up this morning, 1 minute 36, and that is a speed of 82.64 miles an hour, the first time that there has been an 82 mile an hour lap for a motorcycle at Cadwell. Darren Dixon leads nevertheless, number one Morrison wheeling as he comes over the mountain is in second place, and holding a brief in third position, you can see it is still Carl Fogarty. This is lap eight being completed. The start of the last lap but one. Barn corner, Dixon lead, Morrison second, Fogarty third. Jamie Whittam is in fourth place and dropping back. In fifth position it is Steve Spray and in sixth place it's Mark Phillips on the Yamaha Bimoto. Lap nine, ten lap race. Robbie's corner, first, second and third. Into Charlie's bed, 90 miles an hour. Dixon 
Dixon. If this is not a lap record, this lap I would be surprised because he is again pulling something out of the bag. You can see that on the straight, park straight, he increased his lead a bit on his Paget Suzuki. The Paget family, great supporters of motorcycle racing, have helped so many riders over the years by supplying the machinery. That's exactly what they're doing for Darren Dixon. Number 15 from Folkestone, seven years riding experience. Mansfield corner, Mansfield chicane. Up to second, third, fourth, fifth gear. Back to second for the mountain. The completion of lap nine, and if Morrison has got anything left in reserve, he's got to produce it now, because the championship leader, Brian Morrison, number one, is on the last lap, and he's catching Darren Dixon. He's right up with his rear wheel as they come out of Hall Benz into the hairpin. Very tight right-hander, first gear. Barn corner. They're getting the yellow flag with the diagonal cross as they come across the line, which means this is the start of the last lap, and there is the flag. And here are the leaders, Dixon, Forrest, Pocket in first, second and third, Jamie Whittam is in fourth place, Steve Spray is fifth, and Mark Phillips is in fourth place, Terry Driver is behind him, Ben McGlannery, and then Rodney Knapp, the New Zealander, who broke the outright lap record of the club circuit here yesterday, his first ride at Cadwell. But, back to the race, last lap, Dixon leads. Morris in second. 500cc Suzuki four-cylinder four leads, 750cc Honda four-stroke. Looks as though he is going to make it two in a row. He won at Carnaby. He's leading here at Cadwell Park, having come up from fifth place on the first lap to lead on the seventh lap to hold that lead, and he's got about half a lap to go now. Up to the mountain for the last time. The left and then the right. Where you've got to be careful with the power. If you give it too much, the machine loops the loop backwards. Darren Dixon doesn't make that mistake, nor does Morrison, and you can see now how much these two have pulled away from Carl Fogarty in the background in third position, let alone Jamie Whittam, who is still fourth. They've just got far corner to do now, then they're with inside of the chequered flag, which I can see going out as I talk to you. The chequered flag is ready and there to receive it. A marvellous victory. Darren Dixon on the Suzuki who punches the air with sheer delight. He has beat Brian Morrison. And that is no mean achievement anywhere, never mind at Cadwell. And the new championship leader in the Shell Oil's British Championship for TT Formula One machines is Dixon. Darren Dixon. So, victory for Dixon. Second for Brown Morrison on the Honda.